space. Through the centuries, scientists have made great strides in understanding the starry sky above us. But they were left puzzled when they observed a strange occurrence in one of the universe's largest galaxy clusters. Gas should be cooling off and making stars, but we don't see the stars forming. And so that's really weird, and we're not really sure why that is. In 2002, astronomers made a discovery that held the key to this mystery and upended what scientists had long believed about sound in space. Stars are born out of gas that has cooled and lost its energy. However, in some galaxy clusters, the gas isn't losing its energy, so it's never cooling down enough to form stars. What force of energy is keeping this hot gas, well, hot? Galaxy clusters are basically the biggest thing in the universe. The three major parts of a galaxy cluster are dark matter, which actually makes up most of the mass, but it's invisible, so we can't see it. Stars, which are in the galaxies, and those are easy to see, they're the brightest thing and gas. Gas is important because it's how stars form, it's inside of the galaxies, and it's also spread out throughout the whole galaxy cluster itself. The Perseus Cluster is one of the biggest galaxy clusters, and it is about 250 million light years away from us. So people were looking at the Perseus Cluster because they wanted to study the gas in more detail, figure out its structure, is it cooling or not, what's going on. In 2002, astronomers used the Chandra X-ray Observatory to take a closer look at the inner workings of the massive cluster to try and solve this hot gas mystery. To figure this out, we use telescopes, and in particular, we use X-ray telescopes. The Chandra X-ray Observatory, which has been in space for over 20 years now, it is a great tool for looking at galaxy clusters and studying the temperature structure. So seeing what parts are hotter, what parts are cooler, where is the energy being lost. And what they found was there are actually sound waves propagating through the gas in the Perseus cluster that appear to originate from the supermassive black hole in the center. Black holes are incredibly dense objects in space that can tear apart anything that gets too close with its immense gravitational pull, which is so strong, not even light can escape it. Observations of the Perseus Cluster showed two bubbles of energy extending from the supermassive black hole. Scientists believe these bubbles might be the source of energy heating the gas. But how is this transfer of energy happening? So, the sound waves are created when the gas that's flowing into the black hole interacts with the black hole. So some of the gas is going to fall into the black hole, but some of the gas is actually going to be pushed away from the black hole. When the gas is pushed away, it's doing it in some regular rhythmic pattern, which is causing these sound waves. As the sound waves travel through the gas, they give energy to the gas, because remember that the sound wave is a density wave, so it's causing the gas to move back and forth as the sound wave propagates through the medium. The discovery of these sound waves helped scientists answer this big question of why the gas in the cluster wasn't cooling and forming stars. Now we know that there's extra energy added that keeps it hot. This finding shatters the commonly held belief that there is no sound in space. But if sound travels through air molecules, and there is no air in space, how did the Perseus Cluster create this interstellar song? Sound travels through waves, and in particular, it's a density wave. A sound wave can travel through just about anything, like air, or water, or metal, but it has to have something to travel through. And so, in general, space is empty and so there isn't anything for the sound to travel through. The galaxy cluster has a bunch of gas throughout its structure, and so the sound waves travel through that gas. So there can be sound in space. We could see these ripples where there are spots that are more dense and less dense, so we could see these sort of sound bubbles, and so that's how we figured out that there were sound waves. The black hole song is undetectable to the human ear. However, scientists have calculated that this ripple emanating from the black hole would be the deepest note ever observed in the universe. What this means is that they've calculated the frequency of the sound waves based on their measurements 
of these ripples throughout the galaxy cluster. And so this is a very low frequency, and when you know the frequency, you can learn the pitch. Scientists have figured out that the pitch of these sound waves is something like a B flat, but 57 octaves below middle C. And so that's not something that we can hear with our ears because that's not within the range that our ears are able to detect. With the discovery of this black hole song, the universe has finally been given a voice.